How should I invest money in 2024? The critical question in 2024 is how fast interest rates will fall. The fact that interest rates will fall in many countries seems inevitable. Inflation has been falling around the world. Source FD. The full effects of the interest rate hikes have yet to be felt. Once they have been felt interest rates are likely to fall. That is likely to be good news for the following assets long-term government bonds. They tend to perform poorly when interest rates increase, and vice versa. Rate. Real estate investment trusts are vulnerable to higher interest rates than some other assets, just like direct real estate. Real estate will likely stop falling in markets like the UK, but I doubt it will outperform some other assets mentioned above in 2024. The bottom line is that falling interest rates are good news for most assets. As Warren Buffett once said, interest rates are like gravity for asset prices. Falling rates are likely to be bad for money market funds, of course, as they track the base rates of the major central banks. So, like savings accounts, they will likely pay less in 2024 or 2025. Our financial advice. Pokemon cards. I mean, you can get above 5 on CDs for less than a year at plenty of banks. Go to the library, check out, and read John Bogle's The Little Book of Common Sense Investing It will vaccinate you from all kinds of bullshit and show you a clear and simple way forward. No less than Warren Buffett himself says he rereads that book from time to time. Congratulations on starting a great journey. I've been throwing my stuff in Fidelity's high growth fund something like 18 average return every year for the last 10 years. Using Fidelity's brokerage savings account as a high yield savings with 5 interest. Capital One for a secondary high yield savings as my big purchases fund at 4.3 interest, mostly because my credit card and checking account is also there. Imno Financial Advisor BTW. Idea research accounts you're interested in. Check out mutual funds. Nobody can tell the future, but historically, it's been very hard to beat SB500. Hence, investing in an ETF that tracks that index, for example VO Oats, is probably sound advice. Index Mutual Funds Sounds boring, but the returns are good and they tend to be less volatile than other funds EFTS stocks. Tesla 